as the state of California converted the island of San Bruno into a prison for those convicted of serious crimes following the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to abolish the death penalty, journalists at the television studio are preparing a story about it. Immediately, they see a news report in which Carmen is accused of a crime. She will soon be taken to San Bruno, where she observes the hostile environment as the bodies of some prisoners lie on the shore and is afraid to go anywhere. The settlement's leaders, Bobby and Mank, are eager to see the newcomer because they were aware of her presence on the island from the moment they noticed Carmen was already there. Bobby permits a subordinate to make fun of the girl in an effort to crush her spirit. Carmen tries to greet Monk in a friendly way but he immediately lashes out at her trying to show who's in charge here a woman tries to defend herself but is physically weak and cannot defeat a strong healthy man after knocking Carmen to the ground he holds her head with his foot and warns her that she will have to obey their rules if she wants to survive on this island the woman tried to call for help from others but quickly realized that no one here would help her or go against the leader of the pack in the evening Lee Bunny and Joy go to their tent they are the only women on the island so they work little and primarily satisfy men and their needs upon meeting up with Carmen Bunny jumps on her and pulls her away as the woman has taken her place a few years ago the girl took the life of her parents and has not spoken since then and behaves in a closed way not wanting to live by the rules sent before she arrived Carmen decides to leave but the men guarding the exit won't let her out. Realizing that there is no choice the next morning the prisoners work hard on the land to prepare it for the harvest. A little later, Lee tells Carmen that they are not the only group living on the island, but they don't care because everyone here is their own fault and must survive at all costs. In the meantime, Joy asks one of the prisoners for water, but he responds in an unkind manner. A knife battle breaks out between them as Chino decides to defend the charming blonde. After lunch, the girls and other prisoners build a bunker for the group leader. At one point, Lee notices that Carmen's hands are severely damaged and requests assistance from Dr. Milford. In the evening, Monk enters the girls' tent without permission and informs them that they have a night shift. Bunny is exempt from these rules because she is Bobby's sweetheart and can only make out with him, instead. Lee Joy and Carmen are required to visit the guys and make out with at least five prisoners each. Carmen does not agree to these terms, but no one questions her because it is the responsibility of all women who are incarcerated. Silent Bunny goes to Bobby and willingly complies with all of the ringleader's wishes, unable to refuse, she strips off and sits next to him, they fall in love, the following morning, a worker tending to the bunker makes a mistake that causes the roof to collapse. A prisoner in queue for food responds angrily to this and unintentionally knocks over the bull of the person behind him. As a result, a brawl breaks out between them, and the criminal later murders a fellow inmate. Bobby and Monk observe this but chose not to intervene this time because natural selection always has a place in a tribe of wild animals. Closer to dinner, the girls go to the reservoir to wash their clothes under the supervision of two prisoners. At some point, they are attacked by a group led by AJ. Later, four men carry the deceased's body and throw it into the ocean as if it were trash that needs to be disposed of. Prisoners who value freedom and have chosen to live apart from the tyrant Bobby, who kills two crooks before using the girls as slaves, later, after finding the dead bodies of two men, Monk and his henchmen realize who is responsible when AJ and his gang take the ladies into the woods to join their camp. The free girls and AJ's group eat and enjoy their freedom. E E E A S E A S the S, as A, S A B, and an S A Izzy is shown Joy's chest before she reaches her hand into his trousers and asks him to check her blouse for any food that may have spilled inside. After dinner, Izzy and Joy walk to a secluded area to make love while Dylan stands by in indignation, wondering why this man is more fortunate than him. After hearing the girls scream, Dylan resolves to stop them and take the girl. In contrast to Bobby's group, AJ and his men set up camp in the morning to find a new, safer place to sleep. They are constantly moving so that Bobby can't track them and only stop at night because he is afraid of the dark. Divided into small groups, they all go in search of a new campsite. AJ and the colonel rushed to the rescue and stopped the distraught Dylan, reminding them that they are not barbarians. Uh, and, 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 
end, 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 and Izzy, who founded them as a business, is blissfully unaware of this and encourages people to move around rather than stay there. In the meantime, Bunny and Carnal are gathering berries to provide food for the group. Later, Icy and Joy collect honey. The guy shows them how to do it properly so that the bees do not attack him because their stings can be dangerous. A few hours later, Joy collects honey. AJ and Carmen went to the river where the woman found flowers and made a wreath out of them. She takes a liking to the man and kisses him and warns him that the flowers are Dylan, who was terrified fled to the lake, much to the amusement of the other little groups that had congregated here once more. At this point, they are attacked by Monk and other inmates from Bobby's squad, but after giving a commendable rejection, the group manages to flee. After a scuffle with a monk, Carnal escapes, and the prisoner pursuing him catches the cable and instantly takes his own life due to the sharp object. Aya urges the colonel to hold them back so they can set up a trap. AED.SO.SO, A, to SA, a number of a number of a number of a number of Dr. Milford, who has chosen to join their team, is brought by AEG. When the person he loves vanishes and he notices that the assistant is also missing, he looks in the bushes and discovers that Carmen cheated on him with a carnal chicky. Many people then offered to exact revenge on Bobby but Bobby's people age understands that this is nearly impossible because there are almost seven times as few of them and the forces are imbalanced. After saying goodbye to Cheeky who died during the battle, the group prepares for battle by making windpipes and arrows with poisonous tips and homemade grenades made from old flasks with explosives inside. In the meantime, a local craftsman builds a radio for Bobby so he can eavesdrop on the communications of the military guarding the island while AJ builds a radio for himself. Monk and the helpers head out on another reconnaissance mission to kill multiple adversaries. S, the SS Izzy appears in the clearing with an axe in his hands, quickly disarms the prisoner, and then kills him after Carnell and AJ ask the ward not to joke about it and notice that Bunny has vanished. Monk finds the girl early and after kidnapping her drags her back to Bobby's camp. The group gathers at the top of the mountain and realizes that Bobby is up to something as soon as the boat with the military guard arrives. Bobby listens to the radio and learns that the military guard will bring food. Deciding to organize an attack, he goes ashore with his henchmen to prepare a trap. To do this, he ties Bunny to two wooden support sticks and after tearing the shirt off the girl's back, quilts it with a whip. AJ and his friends realize that armed prisoners are a new threat that needs to be eliminated right away as he tricks him into swimming to the shore and hiding behind a rubber boat shoots poison darts at Red on the second attempt he manages to get rid of the prisoner and take possession of the gun on the boat they find. Bobby leaves Red to look after the boat and leaves for the camp along the way he takes the life of one of the assistants believing that the man is a danger to him. According to this, he is innocent and did not commit a crime, the patient died and his co-workers accused him of negligence, which is how Milford ended up on this island. The following morning, AJ's group of girls arrive at Bobby's camp and discover it to be suspiciously empty in preparation for the attack. Joy and Dylan Leaf set up a bunny near a drain to pour petrol into Bobby's bunker. After attacking one of the prisoners in the bathroom, Carnal and Lee kill realizing handmade grenades work, they kill a number of further inmates. The K like SAS and an an age realizes that he lost his best friend in dreams of retaliation against Bobby for the crying he committed Bunny is scared and does nothing so Lee runs towards the camp with a grenade after a successful explosion. Bobby and their assistants attack the group opening fire to kill. A wounded monk requests to go to the bunker and hides with Bobby after Bobby shoots the girl and kills her. The doctor saves Bunny and drags her into the bushes before pouring petrol into Bobby's bunker and blowing it up. The main enemy lost his life and Monk lost his sight as he managed to jump out a few seconds before the explosion. Dylan rushes to Bunny but becomes the next victim of the armed confinement. The terrified girl wants to help the man but gets shot in the arm. Growing crops and taking care of animals is a tranquil way of life for AJ's group. A Monk is assisting in establishing a new home as Izzy and Joy are expecting a kid. When Dr. Milford and Bunny notice the new guards, 
they flee towards the shore because they brought a prisoner and want to remove the doctor from the island because he was found not guilty. However, Milford refuses to leave the island because he met his